Brian Middle unveils a new tank for a new era at Eurosat Ori 2022 in Paris, the KF-51 Panther, which sets new standards in lethality, survivability, and mobility. We've all seen footage of Russian tanks being pummeled by Barakter drones, anti-tank guided missiles and NLAWS in Ukraine. But Rheinmetall has unveiled what it is calling a new tank for a new era, the KF-51 Panther, which it presented for the first time at Eurosat Ori 2022 in Paris on Monday. KF, which is short for Ketan Farug, i.e., tracked vehicle, sets new standards in lethality, protection, reconnaissance, networking and mobility, and is Europe's first new tank concept, outside of Turkey's Alte tank and Russia's T-14 Armada tank. In developing the KF-51, Rheinmetall not only set out to modernize the existing main battle tank concept. It completely redesigned the platform from scratch. The KF-51 Panther's modular, open NGVA system architecture means it can be easily updated and equipped with the latest capabilities and functions. The KF-51 is the first representative of a new generation of combat vehicles, says Rheinmetall. Soon, future innovations will enable environmentally friendly peacetime operations and further optimization regarding automation and combat effectiveness. The fully digitalized NGVA architecture means all weapon systems on the KF-51 MBT are connected to the commander's and gunner's optics and the fire control computer, which enables both a hunter-killer and a killer-killer function, and thus instantaneous target engagement, which, according to Rheinmetall, will be supported in the future by artificial intelligence. The KF-51's main armament is the 130mm Rheinmetall Future Gun System. Rheinmetall says further armament options are available to provide concentrated firepower for long-range strikes and against multiple targets. The 130mm gun is said to be designed to counter new versions of Russian armored combat vehicles such as the T-14 Armada tank. In this image published by Rheinmetall we can see the inside of the turret. At point 1 we see the new 130mm gun, which will be called 52 lira and will be smooth bore, like the 55 lira of the Leopard 2, and will have an elevation range of 9 to 20 degrees, and the fully digital, high-precision turret drive and stabilization system. At point 2 we see the 12.7mm coaxial machine gun, which will be mounted to the right of the barrel, which will hold 250 rounds and will be easily accessible from the outside. At point 3, at the rear of the turret, we see the Natter RCWS drone protection system, which will include a 7.62mm machine gun with 2,500 rounds. At point 4 is the tank commander's CS2 site, which will include a multispectral camera system and a laser rangefinder. At point 5, we see the EAMS side of the gunner. Rheinmetall does not offer any further data on this scope. The Leopard 2, from its first versions, was already equipped with a viewfinder of this type. At point 6 we see the gun autoloader, which will carry up to 20 projectiles ready to load and will have unloading and resupply capacity. Finally, the point 7 shows the Hero 120 starter, equipped with four Hero 120 loitering munitions, a type of smart munition manufactured by Israel, and that is halfway between the anti-tank munitions and drones.